Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel English Literature. We have talked about Salem Wistral and if two names are associated with, associated with Salem Wistral then one is Cotton Mather and the other is Samuel Sewell. Now Samuel Sewell's name is also related with poet minister Edward Taylor who was his classmate at Harvard College. Now one second. Cotton Mather was also associated, associated with him or related to him. So we found two names Edward Taylor and Cotton Mather. He was born in England at the born in England. And at the age of nine, when he was nine years old, he moved to the Bay Colony along with his residence from Massachusetts Bay Colony. In this sentence is look like born in England at the age of nine and you will be confused how one can be born in just age of nine okay but it, he was actually born in England but at the age of nine he moved to the Bay Colony. Now in 1676 Sewell married Hannah Hall and this marriage proved uh, very fruitful for him in every way. Hannah's father John Hall was a wealthy Boston goldsmith and after this marriage he moved into Hull's Boston house. He took the responsibilities of his father-in-law's business. And after John Hull died in 1684, Sewell became a powerful figure in Boston's commercial life. So he was a lucky man in marrying Hannah Hull. <coughs> it is a marriage of convenience, you can say. Sewell began his diary. Actually, Samuel Sewell is most famous for his diary along with other writings also, but his diary is most famous during his college days in Harvard. And he continued his diary until his death. His diary highlights issues like Salem witchcraft and also his debate over slavery. 1678, he was appointed as a manager of Boston Printing Press. John Bunyan's Pilgrim Progress was the first publication from the press. For three years, he ran the press and published his writings along with other Puritan documentaries. It was published as the diary of Samuel Sewell. 1692, appointed at the post of Justice of Superior, Court of Judicature. For 35 years, he hold the post. For the last 11 years, he worked as Chief Justice. And during this time, he was in charge of the Salem Wistral, the most controversial case of the time. Sewell was appointed judge in a witchcraft proceeding and sent several people to death. He was responsible for the death of several people on the um, charge of witchcraft. And after the trial, public opinion turned against the court. The public who pushed the people to death to the news, they turned against the court. Sewell's two children died and Sewell apprehended this incident. Sewell apprehended that it was a divine justice for his wrongdoings, for his sending the common people, the innocent people to the news. And therefore he apologized for his role. The Selling of Joseph, a memorial. This is another important work by Sewell. It is an anti-slavery tract by Sewell that was published in Boston. He showed slavery as a violation of biblical precepts and practice as all men are sons of Adam and they are free. Slavery is moral degradation both for the master and for the slave. But his opinion was highly criticized by his fellow people. John Safin, a merchant and slaveholder, criticized Sewell's views in his pamphlet, A Brief and Candid Answer. Because Sewell's writing, whatever Sewell did in Salem Wistral, it was totally opposite of his views on slavery. In case of slavery, he was reasonable and open-minded. And his opinion was against the interest of the people. 
the slave holders particularly he became a controversial figure serving as a judge in the witchcraft proceeding and later apologizing for the role already now he is a man who seeks divine counsel in all his queries and contemplation and again with this his opinion against slavery he became a controversial figure he searched for righteousness applied to his private as well as personal life and even after puritan hegemony loses its grip on american history samuel sewell's meditative divinity kept a strong mark on the american consciousness so he is a personality with mixed admiration you can blame him and you can also admire him thank you